Actually, just draw a circle and try to come up with a way to find the area of the circle. And so a way to start this always is you can say, well, area, just by logic, is the sum of the little bits of area. Okay, so that's, that's true all the time. So the key really is coming up with how do you write how big a little bit of area is. Well, that depends on how you decide to, to carve it up. And so um, one way of carving it up that I think they still cover in, in Calc BC is you can do like um, kind of like pizza slices, okay? So we can carve it like this. Now I'm exaggerating how wide like the wedge is. The idea is that it's like an infinitesimally like skinny wedge. Um, and so what we want to do is find the area of this thing. Well, so the area of it, you can tell it's kind of like a triangle, you know, and especially if you if you really make it nice and skinny. Well, so the area of that little dude is, um, it's a triangle, so it's half the base times the height. Well, so the base is so is actually this little bit of, of arc, right? This little distance here. Well, so how far did you go? Well, if you do arc length, um, you learned in algebra 2 that like s is r theta like for arc length um the the little bit of length here instead of saying it's r theta this is a really tiny wiggle and so this what this little bit of length is going to be is not r theta but r d theta because d theta means like a teeny tiny wiggle in in theta so that's how big that side is so we'd have one half the base has length r d theta and which again is just r theta, it's just arc length, but the theta, we're substituting a, a tiny wiggle in theta for, so we'll call it d theta. And then the height of this triangle is just the radius. So you can see that the height's just the radius. So, so you actually get one half r squared d theta is the dA. So I should have been writing that as dA all along. So it's one half r squared d theta. Now what's the meaning of all this stuff? That is the area of this tiny patch. Okay, that's what that means. Um, it's really tiny because this d theta is so tiny. Okay, so but then now that we know what the area of that patch is, we can add them all up. So let's put that in for, you know, our expression here that the area is the sum of the total areas. So it's the sum of the one half r squared d theta. R squared d theta. Well, r squared is a constant. Theta to get the whole circle is just going to go from zero to two pi. Right, so um, so now we have it, and so we basically just need to solve this little um, integral. Well, so one half r squared is just a constant, so that can come out front. One half r squared. What we really have is just the integral from zero to two pi of d theta. Now, when you're first learning this, people will kind of balk at this because uh, they're like, "Well, what? How do I know the integral of d theta?" What you need is so just, so just a little side project here. Um, if you remember like something like this, integral x squared dx means, well, you, you would find the antiderivative of this function. Um, so that would be like x cubed over three, you know, plus a constant. If you, if you do this one though, integral dx, well, what that really is, is that's the integral of one dx. And so then that's gonna be like, that, you know, you're like, what function do I take the derivative of to get one? It's gonna be x. So that'd be like x plus a constant. So same thing here, you're, um, instead of dx, you just have d theta. So this thing will just integrate to theta um, because the, the, the function of theta that you would take the derivative of to get one, which is kind of hiding here, is just theta. So what happens is you get one half r squared um, times theta. You actually could put plus the constant, but you're going to evaluate it at 2 pi minus at 0, so the constant will go away anyway, so, so people typically don't. Um, so we go 0 to 2 pi. So this is really just 2 pi minus 0, because you evaluate theta at 2 pi, it's just 2 pi minus 0, 2 pi minus 0. So you get 2 pi over 2 times r squared. Here, I'll just go slow, 1 half r squared. This last thing evaluates to 2 pi. Right. Well, then you notice we get, if you multiply all that together, you get pi r squared. All right, so smile. All right, so let's make the smile look smiley. So it worked. Okay, so that's the area of a circle by carving up into pizza slices. Um, one other approach that you can take for the area of a circle, so we'll do yet one more example. We're actually going to do three. 
another way to carve this thing up is you could do um, so again let me let me start over here the area is the sum of the little bits of area um, but now what you can do is you can say well I don't really feel like doing pizza slices I, I want to do really skinny rings like and, and what I want to do is like add a ring a little bitty ring and then a bigger one and a bigger one and a bigger one and just add little concentric rings up and get the whole area um, and so again we have this issue where the um, we've decided to carve it up in a certain way so like the area of this patch here was called DA well now the area that we need to define or that we've defined as DA is this little ring so here let me just shade it in easy way to figure out how big that area is or how to write it is if you imagine like like snipping this little blue strip with a pair of scissors and kind of unfolding it like this um, the length of it would be like 2 pi times however far out you are it's like a circumference so the length of this would be 2 pi r and then the width of it it's really skinny right because we're making these super skinny concentric rings so the thickness of it would be dr and so what that means is the area of that strip da is just 2 pi r dr so now we have an expression for how big the area of each individual strip is and that is always the toughest part and once you, once you have that you can just shove it into this um, expression that the area is the sum of the bits of area so the the bits of area are really just 2 pi r dr all right but now to get the whole circle we have to integrate from 0 all the way out to big r out to the full radius um, and so let's do it well 2 pi is just a constant so that's just going to ride in front and then you basically have integral 0 to big r of r dr well, so we need a function of r that if you take its derivative, you just get you just get r. Well, that's gonna be r squared over two. So you get two pi times the function little r squared over two. And then what we have to do is evaluate it at zero and big R. So you evaluate it at big R minus the function evaluated at zero. So again, I'll go slow enough. Um, you evaluate it at big R, r squared over two minus zero squared over two. So you get 2 pi times r squared over 2, which, again, makes pi r squared. Happy. Okay. So it worked again. Um, and so we got the area of a circle by carving it up into little bits. So that's the second way. Um, final way. Coolest way for, for, I think you'll like this anyway, especially if it's your first time through. If you go up to this picture, you could say, well, I don't feel like carving this up into... I don't want, you're like, I don't want to do pizza slices and I don't want to do rings. I feel like doing itty bitty, like most primitive little chunks that I could. And so you carve it up into these little guys. They're like bits of rings, right? And so what you can do if you look at this, you'd say, well, again, the area of the circle is the sum of the little bits of area, which is how we started every single one of these, but we're just carving it up into areas differently. So you're like, well, how big is that DA really? And you say, well, I need to multiply one side by another side. Well, this side is an itty bitty wiggle in R. So that's DR. Okay, this side, we've actually already done something like this earlier. Now, a mistake people will make is they'll just write down, oh, that's D theta, because I'm changing the little angle, you know, going this way. But the problem is D theta is not a length. To get the length, you have to multiply it by the radius. So, so kind of like arc length is r theta. So out here, it's going to be r d theta. So you multiply it by r, because that's how far out you are. And then how far did you sweep your angle for that itty bitty thing? You swept it by d theta. So this is r d theta. Oops, I accidentally wrote the r here. Well, so the total area of this then is you just got to multiply this side by that side to get the area of the, like that little box. So it's like r d theta times d r. Dr. And then just for style points, sorry, I'm, I don't like my organization here. For style points, let's rewrite this just with the, the like variables together. So you get dA is r dr d theta. Okay, so that's our expression for the area of this little box. As before, that's the toughest part. Once you have it, you, have, you can just add them up. And so you say, well, the area then, A, is the sum of... And then you go to substitute this in, r d r d theta. But what you notice now is there's two things that are wiggling. So what, so what that means is 
might be your first one of these in your life. Look at that. Okay. Um, so because there's two things wiggling, the little r is going to go from inside to all the way out if you're getting the full circle. So that goes from little r equals zero, or r coordinate equals zero to big R. And the theta coordinate goes from zero to two pi because we want the whole circle. Okay, so this is our first what's called a double integral, um, right? So the, um, this looks so intimidating, but what you can do is it's really, I mean, here's the deep dark secret of multivariable calc is, is it's actually easier than BC. Um, all right, you, you just use a lot of the same stuff that you've already learned. So what you do is let's leave the outside parts alone. So we're still going to have this thing going 0 to 2 pi, and then you have d theta. And what we're going to do is just work on this single integral that's on the inside. So you need a function of r that if you take its derivative, you get uh, just r. Well, that's going to be r squared over 2. So that's r squared over 2 evaluated at 0 and big R. So that's actually just big R squared over 2, which would just be a constant. So I'm going to pull that right out. So you get big R squared over 2, and now all that's left is the integral from 0 to 2 pi of d theta. But again, so we've seen this before. This is, you can imagine like a 1 right there. So this function would integrate to theta. So you get, just carry the constants along, R squared over 2. Okay, now let's actually do this integral. It would be theta, just integrates to theta, evaluated at 0 and 2 pi. Now, how do I know that goes to theta? Take the derivative of theta with respect to theta. It's just 1. Well, there's your function 1 that you're finding the antiderivative of. Finally, let's finish this off. So it's r squared over 2 um, times 2 pi minus 0. So r squared over 2 times 2 pi equals pi r squared again. So that's how you show with a double integral that by using this chunk. Um, oh, by the way, in this box, I actually meant to write the, uh, what was it, r d r d theta. So this is a nice reference. That's a, that's a nice little chunk. All right, so notice we did it three ways. First, we carved it up into pizza slices. That tends to be useful when, um, when something depends on angle. Um, but not so much on the radius, so you can get away with this. Um, this approach with rings, that's when there's no angular dependence, but something is varying with radius. Then, then, then you would, it's, it's useful to use rings. Um, this method out here is kind of like a workhorse. That'll accomplish anything. If you have to handle a problem where, say, you wanted to find the area of um, some crazy shape, like, like a cardioid. Okay, let me draw it like a cardioid. So like here's the origin. Um, what would that be? That'd be something like radius is one minus uh, sine theta. I think that's right. Yeah. Um, so you'd get a shape that looks like this. If you needed to find the area of this, now the how far out you go depends on the angle you are at. 